Unlike Chromebooks from Samsung, Acer, and HP, the Google-designed Pixel has both high-end hardware and a high-end price tag. But is it built like a premium laptop or a low-end netbook? Let's find out. I'm Bill Detweiler, and this is Cracking Open. With pricing that starts at $1,299 U.S., the Pixel costs five times more than the top-selling $249 Samsung Chromebook. Why the huge difference? Hardware. The base model Pixel has a 1.8 GHz dual-core Intel Core i5 processor, Intel HD 4000 graphics, 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 32 gigs of local storage, and a touch-sensitive screen that has more pixels per inch than even the MacBook Pro's Retina display. And not only is the Pixel the best equipped Chromebook on the market, its thin profile and sleek design make it the best looking. But that's all on the outside. I'm more interested on how this machine is put together. So let's get cracking. Luckily, opening the Pixel isn't too difficult. First, remove the four rubber feet that are held to the bottom cover with a little adhesive. Then remove the screws underneath. Next, we need to pop loose two metal clips one on each side that hold the cover in place, and finally lift it off. The Pixel's internal hardware layout isn't quite as clean as the MacBook Air's, but it's not bad. The 59 watt-hour battery is located at the front of the case with speakers on either side. The motherboard and cooling assembly run along the back, and most components, like the RAM and SSD, are soldered to the motherboard. Our work inside the Pixel begins by disconnecting and removing the battery. The speakers come out next, followed by an empty circuit board that serves as a placeholder for an LTE card, which is available on the more expensive Pixel. The fan and cooling assembly are next to go, and after detaching a bunch of cables and removing a few screws, the motherboard also comes out. If you wanted to separate the lid and screen from the case, you could by removing these screws. Likewise, the SD card reader and SIM card slot, if your machine has one, this machine doesn't, can easily be removed. As there isn't really anything special for me to show you by removing these parts, I'm going to leave them in place. Overall, the Chromebook Pixel is built just as well as other high-end, ultra-thin machines, and cracking it open wasn't difficult. But like many laptops these days, there really isn't much you can do once you get inside. Nearly everything is soldered to the motherboard, and there really isn't anything to upgrade. As for whether the Pixel is right for you, that's a tough question. It certainly has the hardware of a high-end laptop. But other than the touch screen, I'm not really sure how much that hardware improves the user experience. If the point of Google's Chrome OS is to have the cloud be your hard drive and handle the heavy lifting for most tasks, do you really need $1,300 worth of hardware? I think the jury is still out on that. Now, for more information on the Pixel, including real-world tests, check out Seth Rosenblatt's full CNET review. And to see more teardown photos and read my full hardware analysis, go to techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open. I'm Bill Detweiler. Thanks for watching.